Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another video. I hope everybody's well. We've had about a foot of snow here today where I live, so um, I'm hoping it freezes over. Can't get to work tomorrow, so I can actually make some YouTube videos. But anyway, I'm only joking. I can work from home <laughs> if I want to, if my boss is watching. Joke. Joke, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so today we are going to be talking about everything what's missing in Battlefield 2042. There's an actual list here, what somebody's done, which once I've read everything we're going to, you know, give a shout out to is I'll, I'll actually go to this tweet and I'll copy it into the description of this video because credit, you know, the people who's actually put all the hard work and the effort in, I'm just, you know, a guy on the internet who can read this off very quickly to a passionate group of, you know, disgruntled Battlefield 2042 fans. Then we're going to have a look at the Twitch category to see where it is in Twitch. And then we're going to look at Steam charts. And then we're going to actually have a look at the end of the video, what the developers are actually saying, you know, to all of us out there, because it's not good. It's not good, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to get straight into the video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Um, leave a like, you know, share it with your friends or whatever. Because, you know, every single subscriber I get, the closer we're going to get to the magical number, which is 100,000, which would allow me probably to be able to do this full time. So the core features, what I'm missing, guys, I'm going to run over these as quick as possible. And if needed, I'm just going to talk about them very quickly. There's a lot here, guys. This is all stuff. What is missing compared to other older Battlefield games what are on older hardware? So why have we got all these next generation consoles? Yes, I know it's still on some of the old gen, but why do we get less in video games right now than what we used to in the past? They all used to complain about, oh, you've got a PS3 or a Xbox 360. It can't do anymore. Well, they've no longer got that excuse anyway. So core features, no single player story, campaign mode, no standard server browser. Can't believe that. Well, I can't believe it's got no single player or standard server browser. Um, fewer standardized game modes. No standard hardcore mode, no persistent lobbies, which I just don't understand that. It's obviously skill-based matchmaking. Fewer in-game assignments, no class system, less character customization options than Battlefield 5. No profile progress stat pages in the menu. No battle log stack tracker for other players, which is crazy. No global leaderboards in a competitive first-person shooter's madness. No dog tags, no custom emblems, no cross-save game profile screen, no spectator mode, no permanent community servers. Uh, no central US service, really? I didn't know that, and that's crazy. Uh, no test range, apart from single player servers versus bots. So they're just core features, get them out of the way. So vehicles, fewer vehicle types, no naval vehicles, no vehicle gunner direction indicator, no lock-on direction indicator, no unoccupied seat indicator, no vehicle enter-exit animations, just lazy, uh, no tank turret uh, decoupling, uh, less vehicle driver pilot customization options, no tank zoom, no tank gunner customization options, no heli gunner secondary weapons, no separate heli fixed wing controls, no rocket aiming uh, reticle for helicopters, crazy, uh, no control input while looking behind, no joystick non-generic gamepad support. Uh, general consensus seems to be that the helicopter and fixed wing flight models were stepped down from Battlefield 4 and there's no uh, beam off switch. I'm actually glad there's none of them. So one positive, guys, from today's video. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to see this. I've tried to zoom in, but for some reason it doesn't work on my computer. Um, so maps, uh, lack of persistent service. So you've basically got a poor map rotation. You know, there's some maps I've never played because you can't, you know, get in a server and it rotates through them all. It just kicks you out of one and then puts you back in again. It goes up to the you know, um, top thing again, where um, there's no persistent lobbies. Um, fewer base game modes, ex well, not including portal maps. Sorry, basic game maps. No static weapon emplacements, which is crazy again. Fewer destructible buildings, you know, next generation consoles. Why haven't we got what we used to have? Very poor balance between vehicle and infantry gameplay. Yep, hovercrafts. 
No infantry focus maps again, lazy. No game changing levolution, which there isn't, you know, rockets take off or whatever on tornadoes doesn't change anything, you know, it just goes and disappears and then, you know, you can't even tell that anything's happened. Uh, poor small points, which is probably the worst in any battlefield game. No fortification building, given how, you know, open the maps are, which is crazy. You know, the maps are really, really big and they look really impressive from a, a, a distance. But, you know, when you're running around in these maps, they look very, very empty. Um, fewer urban areas. Uh, no naval maps so ui quality of life uh, less control customization options less ui customization options no hud icon opacity customization no hud scaling uh, no gun sky sorry gun sight reticle no network performance graph no individual player scoreboard you know it's crazy uh, no ability to zoom in on the spawn map, which is crazy when there's loads of stuff going off. Uh, less detail in the who killed you screen. Less ultra wide monitor support. Very poor friend joining system. You know, it's 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 absolutely crazy that as well. So infantry gunplay, guys, we're only halfway through. You know, this just shows you how much is missing. Uh, fewer guns, even including all the portal guns. You know, Battlefield Four still had more at launch. Fewer infantry gadgets, no manual leaning, couldn't care about that. No driving while, sorry, no diving while swimming. Driving while swimming? How's that going to work? Uh, no high wall vaulting, no crouch sprinting, no backwards prone, no explosion knockback, no rolling after falling from heights, no ammo or health pickups off teammates, which is crazy. You know, that's one of the staples, you know, of Battlefield, just teamwork. It's fucking madness. Um, really pisses me off that it's just stupid. It's just lazy game development. It's like these games are being developed by you know people who don't even play Battlefield. They've got no idea. They're not video gamers themselves. They're not fans of the series. They're just here to make money. You know they've got no fucking idea what they're doing. How stupid is that? You know Battlefield game. It's squad based. Oh yeah, you can't drop ammo or health. Fuck off. Um, really, really grinds me gears, guys. It's just lazy. Really lazy development. Um. No tiered reloads, posed reloads. I don't even know what that means, if I'm being nice. Uh, no melee weapon choices. No thermal optics, which is crazy. No indirect fire gadgets. Less anti tank launches yet. We've only got one. Uh, no AP mines, clay modes, which is crazy compared you know, to how OP some of the vehicles are. <laughs> Not mentioning the um, hovercraft. Uh, no suppression mechanic, crazy. No first-person takedown animations. You know, that used to be cool. So the scoring system, this is a big one for me as well. Again, lazy, lazy, lazy development. Don't care what anybody says. So you get no squad wipe scoring. And the reason I say it's lazy is because it's in all the other games. They don't even have to code. They don't have to write the code. The code is already there for them. You know, how lazy is it? All they have to do is copy and paste. And they can't even be bothered. They're that lazy to copy and paste, guys. You know, this game should have not come out when it come out. Because um, this is obviously stuff what they've you know not bothered with the scoring system. But let's be real, you know they've had long enough to make this game. What the fuck have they been doing for this long? Um, so no squad wipe scoring, no play damage points, um, no vehicle damage points. Now when they say no play damage points on like Battlefield Four, for example, if you got seventy four health off a player, you get seventy four points. You get an assist count to kill and stuff like that. But on this game, you either get flat assist bonus XP or you get flat kill. Well, kill XP. It's crazy. Um, no vehicle kill assist points, what I've just said. No headshot bonus, no long range kill bonus, which is crazy. No assist counts as a kill bonus, no multi kill bonus, no kill streak stop bonus, no comeback bonus, no squad objective play bonus. Um, just basically an over oversimplified team play scoring system. So, squad and teamwork, which is crazy. Again, we're talking about Battlefield here, not Call of Duty. No commander, don't really bother me. No special qu squad calling abilities, which I like them myself. No squad field upgrades. No in-game VoIP coming soon, yeah, all right. Well, we'll talk about that later, but that's just madness. Fewer factions, well, they've got no single player. Almost nothing to give the two factions any distinction, you know. They could put red or blue armbands, you know, or something, or a cap or something, you know, depending on what team you are, and it'd, you know, ultimately make it, you know, a lot better just easily as that. Uh, no cross-team chat, no team changing, um, no create new squad option, no self-promote to squad leader using the request order. Why? Why haven't they done that? I've been in so many games of this game and I'm asking for a squad leader to do something. They don't do anything. And it ruins the experience. But let's be real, they don't care about the experience. You know, they just care about the money. No clans, platoons. Uh, no view of squad mates while in the squad screen. Uh, no medic incoming indicator in damn state. Why is that not in the game? There's no excuse. It's just stupid. It's just fucking stupid to not have it in. 
Um, and then the audio, I don't really give a shit about that, guys. I don't want this video to go on for too long. So anyway, quick overview there of everything what's missing in this game compared to other Battlefield games. This game has been in development for a long time. There's no excuse. Oh, pandemic, pandemic. They can all work from home, you know. They're basically coding them on a computer, and that's how they make the game, you know. They can, you know, have team calls, Zoom calls, or whatever, so... There's no excuse, you know, if if I can work from home and do my job, you know, just as good working from home as what I can in the office, I'm sure they can. So, Twitch viewing figures. Now, I know everybody always goes when I use this, oh, it's not a great metric. I know it's not a great metric, but it's the only thing what we've got. So, Battlefield at the moment, it's 42nd. It's in the, I did actually count where it was before I started this video. So, yeah, it's in the exact same place. 42nd, guys. Call of Duty is above it. Geo Guess is above it. Even Overwatch is above it, guys. Absolute madness. I don't even know what Tavern Master is, but look at where it is, ladies and gents. And it's only going to get lower because as soon as Warzone gets its new map, where's Warzone right now? So Warzone's still up there, but when Warzone gets its new map, the Battlefield creators are going to go back to Warzone. Crazy. And then if we go and look at Steam charts, so it's 24th. On PC now. If you have a look at, I don't know if you can see, but there's numbers there, guys. I'm sorry, I can't zoom in. I'll figure out how to do it for uh, videos later. So if you have a look, its peak play count was what 100,000. We're now on 45,000. But if you have a look at the hours played, there was 2.1 hours, sorry, 2.1 million hours played. And what we're down to now nine. So its its player base has dropped around 50 percent, or slightly more than 50 percent already, guys. Absolute madness. And this all kind of builds into the last thing, you know, what the developers have been saying. So all this stuff here, I'm I'm not going to read it out, but basically they're saying they're doing bits and pieces. I think the biggest thing they've done up to now um, is the bullet spread, the balloon, whatever you want to call it. They've tightened that, but it's still not as tight as what Battlefield should be. I think the only reason they want balloon in the game is to help some of the lesser skilled players out. So eventually a good player will be aiming at somebody they should have killed the bad player, but the bad player gets lucky because of the balloon, what the good player has in in that particular gunfight. Then a bad player will not get the balloon. They'll get like basically hit scan accuracy. And it just evens the playing field because I think genuinely the reason they've not got a server browser in is because they've got some kind of a skill-based matchmaking element in there. There's just no excuse, but it's the worst Battlefield game ever released. I know there's a lot of people who will disagree with this statement because they go, oh, well, Battlefield 4 was shocking on release. It, it was technically. It was shocking. But it had the core fundamentals. It had a server browser. You know, it had a fucking scoreboard, which is just... I, I still I still can't believe this game's not got a scoreboard or stat tracking or anything like... It's madness. It's like, who makes these decisions? And they wonder why the game's dog shit. If I was an investor at EA, I would be doing my fucking nut right now because these investors obviously want to make as much money as possible and they're not going to make fuck all on Battlefield. Absolutely nothing. It's it's done. It's done unless somebody aggressively comes out from DICE, from EA, and instead of saying all this shit here, which I'm going to read out right now, there are still other features that many fans of Battlefield franchise want to see. DICE, let me just, there we go. So DICE is currently deliberating on bringing back the legacy features like the end of match scoreboard, server browser, and voice chat. According to the developers, these are big topics for us all to cover at once, and we have plenty we want to say around them. They said that when they will have something to show everyone, they will come back with details. Now, now if I'm an investor, I'm going to be thinking, what the hell is going on here? Why have you not got a scoreboard in your game? Why have you not got a server browser? Why have you not got voice chat? I, as a developer, I'd be going, well, what the fuck is your strategy here? Because people are pissed. You know, with 40 second on Twitch, obviously they'll know all the actual figures of how many people are playing the game. They'll know how many people have bought it. But I can assure you, if it was positive news with how many people were playing it, if it was positive news with how much it's made in day one sales, they would be telling us, they would be screaming, saying, oh, Battlefield 2042 smashes all sales records. But because we don't hear anything, 
it's been a terrible launch. But if I was an investor, I'd be questioning. These are what people are saying because they, they, they watch my videos. I'm pretty sure they watch my videos. A lot of influential people watch my videos. They will know we had a shadow of a doubt what we all want. They'll know we want a scoreboard. They'll know we want a server browser. They'll know we want voice chat. They'll know that we want aiming how it used to be, you know, mouse control or whatever platform you're playing, because it's not right. There's some kind of acceleration in this game. I can't put my finger on it because I'm not technically minded enough, but it just doesn't feel right. They know what we want as a community, but there's something really wrong in the DICE studio because EA aren't stupid. They're a billion pound company. You don't become a billion pound company by being stupid. Now, maybe there's some ulterior motive that they want this game to deliberately be bad, but I don't think that's the case. I just think that DICE haven't got the staff there anymore who care enough about making a great video game. And I also think that their creative talents are stifled, as I said in my last video, because there's a pressure on them that you've got to make this game a certain way. You've got to have it done by this time. But all the way through the development cycle, they were saying, yeah, we're, we're, ahead, of, we're ahead of scale. So what's gone wrong? The only reason I make these videos is because I'm annoyed. I thought this game was going to be the game I'm going to play and enjoy for the next two years. I'm going to make content on it, positive content, but I, I just can't play this game for longer than 30 minutes. I think I've got about four hours of my trial left because I've not even bought the game. I didn't need to because I pay, what is it, £3.99 a month? And I can play Battlefield 3 and 4 via EA Play or whatever it's called. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Roll a vocal bunch here. You know, I'm just trying to put my views across and there's a lot of people in the comment section who feel the same as me. You know, I've got a lot of new subscribers recently, for me anyway. You know, I've had about, what, 200 new people in the last month, which is good for me. I know it doesn't sound like much, but I'm an old man, you know, uploading YouTube videos about video gaming, you know, moaning about it all the time. You're not going to get stuff you know, like that normally on YouTube. You've got to normally be a bit younger, maybe late 20s, early 30s at a push. And you've got to be positive because people want to watch positive people because the majority of people who search YouTube for Battlefield content are just wanting to watch people play the game. You know, that's why gameplay channels rule. And there's not many of <laughs> channels around like myself, like other people who are critical in the community because simply they're just not they just don't make as much money as the bigger people. But, you know, I'm here, you know, just because I'm passionate about gaming, I'm passionate about Battlefield, Call of Duty, even though I shit on that game as well. It's only because I'm passionate about it. If I didn't care about it, I won't make videos about it. But ultimately, you see me making a lot of videos about Battlefield because I, I, I'm genuinely disappointed with this game. I just can't believe they've got it that wrong. However, Call of Duty, I've made one Call of Duty video sucks. And, yeah, that's all I need to say on the matter because I, I knew it was going to be terrible anyway. But, you know, if 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 we're talking about the biggest letdown of 2021, it is definitely Battlefield. It is definitely 100% Battlefield. I'm not saying that Battlefield's a worse game than Vanguard. No, I'm not saying that. You know, they're both terrible games. It's just that I had much higher expectations for Battlefield 2021. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Do you think Battlefield can be saved? If you think it can be saved, type Battlefield 2042 saved. If you think it's failed and it can't be saved, just type in Battlefield 2042 fails. All right, take it easy, everybody. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.